lot of people have asked us um, at a pack, so where does this food go and, and, how, and do we know that it gets to the right places, etc. And what Feed My Starving Children does is they focus on making the food available, right? And then they work hard to find partners in country that know the need and they're, that are aligned with making the name of God great. This year we went to Haiti um, with a group of about 20 people and it was again our opportunity to see the rest of the process, the rest of what happens to those cases and pallets of, of manna packs once they leave Stonebriar's parking lot. You hear about it in the news periodically, um, earthquakes, hurricanes, it's one right after the other and they just can't get a break. And that devastation leads to devastated lives and hopes. You know, when I flip through pictures of our trip, it just it does bring back many, many different things. We got to talk to a woman who ran an orphanage, and just the impact that she had on us to, to hear her story and the, the impact that this food has. In February, we packed a million meals. Well, there was one box that wasn't palleted, and it got sent back to a warehouse and it ended up in Haiti, where we were. And so I touched that food here in Frisco, and I touched that food in Haiti. So that was really, really cool. It was amazing. Wow. I would desire that people know that th what we're doing when we're packing, I want them to feel as much of that process as they can. That God, this is just a piece of what God is doing. We are a part of the body of Christ. Mm -hmm.